Hey folks, in this video we're going to look at some of the most popular solutions for audio and education and some nice accessories to go with them also. So I'm going to start by looking at the H2N. So the H2N from Zoom is a portable recorder. It's A battery powers an SD card on board. So you could bring it around and use it for podcasts, etc. But it's also very useful as it's got a USB connector so you can plug it into your desktop or as I've used it in the past with a phone. So it comes with a tripod mount in the bottom so you could plug a mic stand in and I've used this connected via USB to a phone to record really good audio quality. Um, two features that some of the mics have here we'll be looking at is a gain selector. So with the gain, the gain would boost the volume of what you're picking up but it can often uh, or sometimes lead to a bit more hiss or a bit more background noise being picked up so you've got to use it carefully. Sometimes a lower gain and, and being able to boost it uh, afterwards in post-production is better. And the second thing is it's got a pattern selector. So this is four onboard mics. So if you're in XY, you're recording in front of you. You see the light. Uh, if you're in mid shot, for instance, you're, you, if you're doing an interview with someone, you're connecting the opposite direction and, and somewhat to the side. And then if you engage the four channel, you'll see all the four mics are, are recording all around. It's a very useful feature there. So the gain and the pattern selector. What I like about the H2N, really good audio quality and I'll be in test later to show you that. And very flexible, you can you can put it stand you can put it on a tripod. So it's a do all kind of a microphone. Very good option there. This mic is a bit more of a one trick pony but it's quite handy sometimes if your phone has a poor pickup. It's a little mini shotgun mic. It's TRS connector that goes into your phone so you might need a USB adapter if you don't have one of those anymore. Not most modern phones are dropping those. And that just just that will uh, capture what's in front of you. Um, it comes with a little uh, dead cat adapter as well to to um, reduce the amount of wind noise. This little microphone is very handy and the cheapest one here, uh, just around fifty euro, and it's the Samsung Go mic. So this is a USB mic that you plug into your desktop or laptop. It can clip onto a laptop lid or onto a monitor stand. It's also got a pattern selector, so the most popular pattern is cardioid, which is in front of the mic, kind of around, and then omnidirectional, which is all around. So you have two pattern selectors there. Comes with a really nice little case, like that. So it's a very handy one to throw in your bag. You can connect it up to the phone as well via the USB adapters that we looked at in the previous video. So these two are USB desktop mics. Not much good for use with a phone because they're just too big, unless unless you're using the phone in a kind of a studio environment and you could leave them sitting on a desk. But these connect via USB uh, direct to the uh, your PC or laptop. So one is from Rode. Uh, Yeti is probably the most popular one around. A lot of the YouTubers, streamers will go for this one. It's not massively expensive, usually around 120 or 30 for the, the base model. Some of the more advanced models have XLR connectors. You're, you're kind of... You're, um, your band style uh, microphone connector. Once again, this has a few patterns. You've got cardioid, omni, and a few other patterns, and a gain selector as well. And the Blue Yeti is probably one of the most recognized and most commonly used mics. And Blue do a smaller version. Um, there's a kind of a Yeti Nano, and there is a Snowball, which is another popular mic microphone from Blue. Um, the crowd who make this, Samsung, they also make a really popular desktop mic that's similar form factor to these called the Meteorite, which gets good reviews as well, but I haven't had one. Um, probably one of the most interesting kits to come out in the last while is the Rode uh, Wireless Go. And these are very flexible for a number of reasons. So they come with two transmitters and a receiver. The transmitters have a built-in microphone, but you can plug in an external mic, like a little lavalier mic that you clip onto a tie that you see in interviews. But I've seen actually in RTE even recently, I've seen these being clipped to people. So you actually get two transmitters for interviews, or you can just use one and, and down mix it into a single channel. And then you get the receiver as well. Now the receiver actually has onboard storage. So like the H2N, you could use this even if it wasn't connected to a device. And you also have multiple connection options here because this will send audio over USB to your phone or desktop. And it will also send audio over the TRS to your phone and desktop if that's how you want to do it. Um, there's some nice accessories for it as well, like this interview mic here where you can clip the, the unit into in, in here and put the muffler on it and go off and do your interviews. Um, very handy. Uh, also then if you have a... A phone or a camera mount that's got a, a flash shoe so it's called a hot shoe if it's connected to flash or cold shoe so it's designed to basically slide into um, 
I've actually got one here. So you'll see it here. It's uh, it slides into that, and you can put your phone in here and then connect it up, and then you can you can put a handle on this, which I've got somewhere else. So that's a very flexible solution as well. Shout out to um, ZG Cine as well, who make this charge kit for it. So because there's three units and they all have charge on USB C, it's a bit tricky using cables sometimes. So I've ordered this little set. It's kind of hard to get your hands on. I order from China, and this will charge all three of your wireless go units in one solution one case so i hope this helps uh the audio quality in all these is very good and i will be doing a test video next